Question number seven is a transformations question. Uh, part A is translation and part B is describing a transformation, which is a rotation. We'll come on to that in a minute. Okay. Um, translation is just moving a shape in horizontal and vertical directions around the grid. Uh, the shape doesn't get bigger, it doesn't flip over, it doesn't turn around, it stays, stays the same uh, the same way up on the page. Um, the vector tells you that this shape has to move five to the right and two units down. Um, if that number had been negative it would have been a left shift, if that number had been positive it would be an up shift. The way to do that is to pick a point, any point, and to move that point, one, two, three, four, five to the right and two down, and to mark it, and then to do the same thing with another point, one, two, three, four, five, and two down, this point here, one, two, three, four, five, and two down, this point, one, two, three, four, five, and two down, and keep on doing that until you can build up a picture of exactly where the shape could go. And part B, describe the single transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. So starting with this shape here, ending up with this one, what's happened? Well, there's been uh, no change of size, so it's not an enlargement. Um, it's changed its orientation, so unlike the last one, it's not a transformation. What's actually happened with this shape is it's been turned around. So therefore, we have a rotation but notice there are three marks available for this part of the question so you're going to have to provide more information for a rotation you have to say how much the shape has been rotated by and you have to say what center of rotation has been used um, the shape is completely upside down so therefore it's a 180 degree rotation you've turned the shape halfway around in order to get the center of rotation get yourself a piece of tracing paper which is available to you in the exam Trace over the shape that you're starting with. Uh, the centre of rotation is the point at which you put your pencil on the paper and stays fixed when you turn the shape. So for example, if I pick right there, the origin, where the two axes cross, and I spin a piece of paper 180 degrees, Right, you should be able to see that that obviously wasn't the centre of rotation because this doesn't overlap shape B. So go back to the starting point and keep on trying different centres of rotation until you get the one that works. And the one that works in this case is that point there. Which is given by the coordinates 0, 1.